I am running AOS IP ROM on my Redmi Note 5 Pro. This one is the 9th July 2018 build and if you are running a custom ROM too and if your ROM has camera to API enabler toggle natively this is how you can get it to work. Enable this toggle and reboot the device once normally and if your ROM doesn't have this camera to API toggle you will need this camera to API zip which you can flash via TWRP recovery then you can install the APK. I have a separate video on it and here is a card but make sure you install this google camera mod from today's video description. And here is the file name again just for your confirmation that you have it already or not which says all auto in the name. And I am really sorry because I forgot where I got this apk from so I am just gonna give you the google drive link of mine in the description. But if you are the developer of this apk please send me the link so that I can edit and put your link in the description. And for this apk you don't have to mess up any settings or you don't have to do any kind of settings you just install it and open it boom it works. Portrait mode for both front and back cameras works flawlessly here so you don't have any issues. Well if you are wondering which camera is this well this is the MIUI camera running in a custom ROM with portrait mode if you haven't seen the video yet card for you right here. Now let me open the actual modded google camera here. And the amazing thing over here again is you do not have to change any kind of settings or something here to get portrait mode. Everything works flawlessly right away after installing it when you have camera to API enabled. So time for some samples, hell yeah! So these pictures you are gonna see in my room are taken at night in indoor lighting conditions. Zooming in just to give you a clear idea about the edge detection and colors looks pretty dope. But here look at the tripod leg which is not blurred out so I am just being nitpicky here. And on this one I was really close to the background here but it still did a great job of its direction. Zooming in. Look at this one sides because next one will be without portrait so that you can get an idea about the crop on portrait mode. So here it is. By the way these pictures are all with the front camera taken at night time and by the way the front camera detects only as 5 megapixels on this app but I have to say it still does a great effing job. Now let's move to a daylight selfie, zooming in. Now let's start with the rear camera pictures, note that there are no option for HDR here. These pictures looks like this by default without a single touch of editing. I think the HDR auto enables itself. This is an interesting one, zooming in. Just look at the details man, looks sick right? Another one, zooming in. I like this one, have a look, zooming in. Here is a cloudy sky up here as you can see, the dark clouds and the little bit of blue, zooming in. And again, and again, you can even see the LG logo up here, at least you can guess. This portrait picture is taken with the rear camera at night in indoor lighting conditions so yeah, it works but has a lot of noise to be honest. And here is a video sample if you are wondering about the video stabilization. So that's a wrap for this video guys, hope this one helps you. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you haven't yet cause we are almost 5k strong. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll catch you guys in the next one.